Hi everybody and Happy New Year. It's 2012 and the beginning of a new season of my Analog Projects. My Analog Project 2011 last year was fun and I enjoyed uh, showing off all of my cameras. So I decided to do it again this year, but this time I'm going to uh, add more toy cameras and plastic cameras into the rotation. So we'll start off uh, January 2012, uh, the analog project with this one. This is the Lomography Sprocket Rocket. This is a toy camera released by uh, Lomography back in, um, I guess it was uh, 20, early 2011. Um, uh, yeah, at least early 2011. This camera uh, is, a, is a plastic toy camera modeled after the Falcon Miniature, which was uh, released back in the late 1930s into the 1940s. That camera shot uh, one 27 millimeter film, and this is a 35 millimeter film camera. This camera, uh, its claim of fame is sprocket hole photography, and if you don't know what that is, it's the art of exposing the sprocket holes that line the outer edges of a roll of uh, 35 millimeter film. So if you do a search on uh, Flickr for uh, sprocket photography, you will see examples of this where people have uh, uh, used uh, hacks and other mods to expose the sprocket holes uh, on uh, film. But uh, this is one of the uh, few cameras that is designed to do that um, out of the factory, right out of the box. So sprocket hole photography, not that popular, but uh, very unique looking. Uh, I started doing it with my Holga. It was fun. Uh, decided to buy this camera. This camera retails for like 90 bucks, uh, lomography.com. I used a bunch of coupon codes and got it a little bit cheaper. So, uh, so there you go. This camera features a 30 millimeter lens that has a uh, like 106 degree field of view. So it's uh, considered an ultra wide or a super wide angle uh, panoramic camera, hence the, uh, the word panoramic down here on the bottom. This camera's lens is made of plastic, so the photos are going to be a little a little softer. Not not dreamy like a Holga, but uh, certainly not extremely sharp. But it's perfect for this style of photography. The shutter speed uh, on this lens is, uh, or this, uh, just the camera itself, you only have one speed. That's one one hundredth of a second when this little lever here is switched into the end mode, which stands for normal. The other one is the uh, B mode, and of course that's a bulb for holding the uh, shutter open as long as you need to make an exposure in um, extremely dark conditions like nighttime. The aperture is selectable on the bottom with a similar switch. You have a sunny and a cloudy. The cloudy is uh, f10.8, so that's uh, cloud, shade, and indoor uh, shooting. And then, of course, the sunny is uh, f16, which is, you know, typically f16 will probably work indoors as well, but uh, that's typical for your sunny days outdoors. Uh, the camera features a zone focus system by rotating the, uh, the lens here on top. You have two settings. You have uh, 0 0.6 to 1 meters, and that's basically flowers and, and whatnot, uh, close objects. And then the other setting on the other end is one meter to infinity, and that's pretty much what everyone will probably use. And there is the little gray area here in the middle. You can play with that and roll the dice and see what you get. The bottom of the camera has a tripod socket. You just unscrew this and your tripod uh, uh, connects down in there. The top of the camera, again, you have these two large dials. One is to advance the uh, the film to the next frame and the other one is to rewind the film to previous frames so you have these two windows right here one is the exposure uh, count that tells you what frame you're on and the other one is an indicator that tells you when to stop when you're rewinding your film so the object of this setup here one of the selling points was this camera does multiple exposures on previous frames so the idea is uh, you take a you take a photo okay and you advance your film take a photo advance your film. Take a photo, advance your film. Once you get to the end of the roll, you can start rolling it backwards and this little window will tell you when to stop. So basically you're rolling the film back to a previous frame and you can take another exposure and make a double exposure and you can roll it back some more to another frame or several frames back until you get to the one that you want to get to and make another exposure. So it's something that I haven't tried yet but I plan on doing it soon. Uh, also inside the camera, the camera came with another Another little accessory, uh, this little mask right here will drop down inside the, uh, uh, the exposure area right here and allows you to cover up your uh, sprocket holes and give you a more traditional uh, panoramic look uh, to your picture. So this little mask right here will eliminate 
uh, exposing the uh, sprocket holes and you end up with a traditional uh, panoramic shot. I probably won't be using that because I bought this thing to, uh, to specifically do sprocket hole photography. Also, uh, there's a flash hot shoe on top, which is uh, very nice to have. A lot of toy cameras in the past didn't have that, but uh, more and more uh, toy cameras are being released with the uh, flash hot shoe on top. I plan on using the uh, the Diana F Plus flash. This flash came with uh, my Diana Mini, and it has a very uh, unique looking uh, contact here on the bottom. Let me take that off and show it to you. This is an accessory. I'll talk about that in a second. The uh, uh, contacts on the flash line up with the two holes on the top of the uh, Diana Mini. It plugs in like that, but the Diana Mini came with uh, a couple accessories. These two uh, deals here allow you to use this flash on other cameras or use other flashes on the Diana Mini camera. This one has, uh, if you look closely, has the same uh, plugs on the bottom, so when you plug this into the Diana Mini, you can use any flash on top of the Diana Mini. But it also came with this accessory right here, which has a traditional hot shoe on the top and matching plugs on the bottom to allow you to use your uh, Diana F Plus flash on pretty much any uh, camera that has a standard hot shoe. So you just put those two together, and there you go. You bring the power of the sun to uh, sprocket photography when you're in darker situations. So I do plan on using this. Uh, with this particular camera when I do some uh, try and do some uh, nighttime photography with this. So there you go, the uh, Lomography Sprocket Rocket for the month of January 2012 Analog Project. Um, fun camera, uh, very unique. I love the body style on this with the offset lens and it's a wide uh, stance on this particular camera. So there you go, uh, Lomography Sprocket Rocket for the month of January. My uh, Analog Project 2012 kicks off. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next month with another film camera from my uh, collection. Thanks for watching.